Hey folks, it's Rob, and this is Gemcraft, um, Chasing Shadows, by Armor Games, uh, which is this logo right over here. Uh, picked up inexpensively on the, uh, winter sale, let's, yeah, let's do something about the music, shall we? Uh, music volume, that was only 40, okay, fine, we'll take it down to 20. Of course, I have no actual indication of what the sounds are like because it's not giving me any feedback. Hey! Of course, we can mute. It's full screen or windowed. Uh, you know, it's one of these things. Uh, force minimum, force maximum, adaptive settings. Uh, somehow, my, it's locked at 30 frames, I'm guessing, because it's been a rock steady 30 so far. Um... Did that make any difference? <sighs> really? That's supposed to be, okay, 14%? I don't know. <sighs> it's one of these things, kids. You got two buttons for tweeting and Facebooking. Anyhow. Let's, let's start it. I think it's supposed to be kind of a puzzly tower defense game. I might be wrong. It's been a while since I bought the game. I bought it in the winter sale for not very much money. And honestly, it's now late January and I'm just getting around to this stuff. Because I've been playing Fallout 4. <laughs> right. Well, it gives us plenty of game slots. Okay. Click the button to select the gem type of your first gem. Click the inventory row to create your gem. Okay. Drag your gem to the tower to insert the gem. Okay. Click on the arrow to start the battle. Come on, get zotting. You failed to zot the first one. We are now doomed. No, oh, the other gems are operable. Okay. So we got an achievement. And that was wave one. Well, in most, most of these things, I don't usually have to do anything on the first time around. I gotta say, defense grid work looked better though. Creates a mana leeching gem. Creates a poison gem. Creates an armor tearing gem. Throw gem bomb. Build wall. Build tower. Combine gems. So, if I want to create a mana leeching gem, and then uh, a poison gem, and then an armor tearing gem, and then let's say I want to combine these gems, Typically, I didn't have to do anything there. So we have four shadow cores. Some pages of text. First blood spilled, lucky. Find a talisman fragment. And novice grade, create three grade three gems. Gives me a skill point, apparently. Uh, cornet f corner fragment, rarity three. Upgrade level zero, one slash two. Plus two percent damage to swarmlings. Upgrade cost 4, salvage value 2. Token for field F2. Okay. Hopefully the tutorial tells us more. Let's see what this shit is. I was in possession of the Forgotten for months, carrying her within myself. 
We wandered through the wilderness towards the Spirit Forge, the last stand of wizardry, the place she seems to want to get to so desperately. I still can't believe my trap worked, but it did. It split us apart and knocked me unconscious. Whether she didn't find me afterwards or didn't want to waste time on killing me, I don't know. But she's gone now. I'm probably the first wizard ever to survive her possession. This happened at least three years ago, three days ago. Fortunately, the trap, or as I call it, the scythe gate, okay, you know, or the trap, because that's simpler, dropped me near my old wizard tower, just as I had planned. That, that's, okay, I guess it's a tower. <laughs> After decades spent hiding and watching, I'm home again. She is days ahead of me, though. There's no time to waste. I must hurry. Is this the gem bearer? We have to set up the trap with the gem before she gets to the spirit forge. Okay, so I got 83 XP. Okay, so I click on the field token. Seven ways, first wage, six HP, available gems, chain hit and slowing. Click and drag to build a horizontal wall. Okay. Click on the build tower button or press T. Click where you want to build the tower on any clear area or path, as long as it doesn't block the monster's way. Hold shift to place multiple towers. Okay. So that's the tower button. and I can basically put it wherever I want. They're gonna come in here. So that seems like a place. Um, now let's put an art tower like right over here and we'll slow them down. So make me a slowing gem. Okay. Now make me a chain hit gem. Or don't, because we already have one. Okay. And, uh, we can't make another one. I can build a wall. Walls provide a cheap way to build long maze for the monsters to walk. Well, duh. Uh, so I can't block their path, but I can direct them. Not enough mana. Well, how do we start the... Oh, I gotta hit play. Oh, and they're coming this way? So I've done this backwards. Fortunately, that seems quite capable. build a new slowing gem and we'll put it over here. Hey. Okay. I wonder if you can just shift these. Yeah, you can. And back up the front line. Alright, speed. So this actually kills as well. That's good to know. Okay. No, it got through. How is that even allowed to happen? Uh, puncturing shot achievements is a skill point, wherever I use those for. Some shadow cores, whatever those are used for. F token for field F3. And another corner fragment. Whatever. Um... Check your skills. Skill management. Every time you level up, you get seven skill points. 
You can spend skill points to upgrade your skills, which give you various battle bonuses. Unspent skill points give you initial mana, so it's not always worth spending your skill points to side wisely. Alright. Fusion. Click to learn this skill. Next level, minus 1.5% first grade gem cost. Next skill level costs 1 point. Mana stream. Whatever that does. Next skill level, plus 4% mana per monster kill. Uh, and masonry. Next skill level, minus 8% initial building mana cost. Next skill level cost 1 point. So this is cheaper buildings, this is more mana. And I don't know what this one does. A1 game. A1. Well, let's get cheaper buildings. I mean, that's twice as effective as this. So I should really just get this to get my buildings cheaper. At least to start with. 5% faster gem socketing. Sure. Um, I still have quite a few points, actually. But yeah, it does severely affect your mana level as well. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Three buildings. Talisman. Socket fragments into your talisman to gain various battle bonuses. You can spend shadow cores to upgrade your fragments or destroy them to gain shadow cores in return. Alright, so we got a corner fragment. Plus 2% damage to swarmlings. And this one is plus 3% damage to reavers. And plus 0% maximum freeze charge. Uh, they're both corner fragments. So they have to go in corners. Okay. Fine. Bonuses. Whatever. The achievements that we unlock. Okay. So what if I wanted to go back to field F1? Hmm? Right, there's our thing. Let's uh let's make a poison gem. We'll put that right there. And let's see, I could build another tower right here. And well, there's no slowing or anything, so let's just poison him again. Sure. There you go. Right, let's go. And I got me shadow cores and a lot of mana. Okay, but no XP gained. Hmm. All right. And that didn't affect that at all. Okay, so let's do this one. Gem socket in traps deal less damage but have much stronger special effects. Okay, so I have three traps. Grade one pure green gem. Grade 2 dual green yellow gem. And a pure yellow gem. 11% chance to deal more damage. Okay. And I can make more greens than yellows. Alright. So, let's see. Let's socket some traps, just cause, then we'll, this is a critical hit gem, I'm going to put you here, and we'll create a poison gem, alright, I want you poisoned here, and critical there, and
kind of want to waste their time a bit over here, but we'll see. Um, I can't do that yet. Okay. So they're marching in from over this way. Okay. Man, it does slowly tick up over time, though. How much do I need? I don't know how much I need. Okay. Well, this all seems effective. You do damage on your own, don't you? Yeah. Okay, they nearly got our own a little more further than I'd like. Let's, uh... Throw up an extra tower, I think. Let's try this combining gems thing again. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem to work for me. I don't know how to do that yet. up achievement. We have an edge fragment and to field tokens. Okay. And we level. So plus 2% of wizard level goes into initial XP and mana. Maybe I need this fusion skill to be able to combine gems. And we'll buy it. We'll buy one of each thing. Nothing else seems to have opened. Okay. And... Yeah, so this looks different. Oh, it's rather more complex, isn't it? Gems socketed in amplifiers don't shoot, but boost gems in adjacent towers and traps instead. You can build a strong point with several amplifiers, skill required, surrounding a single tower, giving a huge range bonus. I don't... do I have any amplifiers? Well, I have amplifiers that are on the field. And in fact, this one is already with an amplifier in it. Okay. And then this tower here... Why is that even there? Right, that's going to reduce armor. And... Armor
armor tearing gem, slowing gem, suppressing gem. Permanently reduces the target's health regeneration rate, passes through shield. Alright. Well, I like the sound of that. And if I put a new tower in... in the vicinity over here... Um, well, clearly I'm supposed to build, like, one over here. And then... Although, I mean, this is getting to the last moments over here. It's 144 mana to build another tower. Right. Let's uh, let some time happen. Alright, so they're coming crawling out of the building here. them down as well. Yeah, maybe we'll come a bit closer. I haven't done this throw gem bomb thing. Let's try that. Alright, so we'll suck at our little amplifiers. Again, let's try combining things. So we're going to try the tearing with the slowing and combine them. Yes. And then put that in there. And we'll put a suppressing gem. Armor tearing gem. And we'll try combining those. And we'll put them there. Okay. Okay. We'll see a little bit of the backup area finally. that.
achievement, 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 token, and some more shadow cores. Okay. And more skill points. Well, okay. That seems to be the game. I thought there may be a puzzle element, which is a little disappointing. Uh, but it's otherwise a tower defense game. If you like tower defense games and gems, uh, should be acceptable. Check it out. Um, but otherwise, that's it. I'm, I'm kind of done. Um, there might be more, but... I mentioned there's other kinds of, like, gems to discover and such like that. And probably other modes of play down in the future. Uh, but I was hoping for a bit more puzzle quest. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day, folks. Goodbye.